Welcome to the Literary Digest. Please subscribe to the channel or give a like and comment on this video if you find it helpful to help us reach more people. Have you ever faced a setback that felt insurmountable? Whether it's a career stumble, personal loss, or unexpected obstacle, setbacks are inevitable. But these moments of adversity can become powerful opportunities for growth and transformation. Imagine turning every setback into a stepping stone towards success and personal fulfillment. By understanding and working through setbacks, you can unlock hidden potential. This involves four phases, establish, embrace, explore, and emerge. First, recognize and accept the setback. Then, embrace the emotions and challenges it brings. In the exploration phase, assess your options and capabilities for innovative solutions. Finally, in the emergence phase, take actionable steps toward new goals, armed with insights gained from your experiences. In this summary, you'll go through these four phases, learning practical strategies for recognizing and embracing setbacks, exploring new possibilities, and emerging stronger. Are you ready to transform life's inevitable setbacks into tools for thriving both personally and professionally? Then, let's get started. Chapter 1, Understanding and Managing Life's Inevitable Setbacks Setbacks, whether minor annoyances or major life upheavals, play a significant role in shaping everyone's lives. Understanding how to effectively deal with these challenges is critical if you want to thrive and survive both at work and in your private life. Each setback, regardless of size, presents an opportunity to reshape your path and enhance your resilience. Psychologist Susan David emphasizes the importance of recognizing physical signs of stress like a clenched jaw or tense shoulders as early indicators of setbacks. These discomforts are signals pointing to deeper emotional disturbances. By tuning into these cues, you can initiate a more strategic response and better manage your reactions. So how do you deal with setbacks? First, it involves precise identification and naming of the issues at hand, which allows you to take control of the situation. Organizational psychologist Adam Grant used the word languishing to describe a state of stagnation many felt during the pandemic. Naming the experience provided people a handle to grasp their situation, enabling them to move toward resolution. But recognizing and naming setbacks is just the beginning. True learning comes from a thorough examination of these events analyzing what went wrong and why. This reflective process often yields more insights from failures than successes, giving you strategies to prevent future issues. It encourages you to confront uncomfortable truths and admit mistakes, which, though daunting, is essential for significant personal growth. Embracing setbacks as opportunities for learning and improvement allows you to build resilience and prepare for future success. This proactive engagement with life's challenges ensures continuous personal and professional development, steering you toward a more robust and fulfilled existence. By understanding setbacks as catalysts for growth, you can transform every challenge into a stepping stone toward greater achievement. Let's explore this more in the next section, where we'll move from simply recognizing setbacks to actively engaging with them through pause and reflection. Chapter 2 Facing setbacks with pause and preparation. When facing setbacks, it's easy to immediately seek relief from the discomfort. Yet, true resilience emerges not from avoiding these difficult moments but from confronting them head on to extract valuable insights. The initial step in this process involves pausing to recognize that sometimes, situations must be difficult before they improve. This acceptance allows for genuine emotional processing rather than simply adopting a facade of positivity. The field of positive psychology, initially intended to emphasize strengths over weaknesses, has often been misinterpreted as advocating for constant positivity. This misconception can lead to toxic positivity, where genuine emotions and challenges are superficially covered with affirmations that fail to address deeper issues. True progress arises from directly engaging with these challenges. Incorporating therapeutic practices can also be beneficial. 
Activities like taking mindful showers can offer the mental space necessary to effectively process thoughts and emotions. Research suggests that allowing your mind to wander can trigger creativity and profound self-awareness. Significant changes or crises the COVID-19 pandemic, for example, compel both industries and individuals to reassess and adapt. For instance, entrepreneur Erica Taylor Haskins utilized the pandemic-induced pause to reflect on her business and personal values, ultimately redefining her purpose to include community service within her professional endeavors. But you do need to distinguish between productive reflection and harmful rumination. Recognizing when to step back from excessive pondering is important, as it can intensify stress and obstruct problem-solving. Engaging in meaningful activities that align with personal and professional objectives can positively channel energy. Effectively managing setbacks involves balancing acceptance and emotional processing to inform future actions. This approach helps you deal with current challenges and prepares you for future obstacles, transforming setbacks into stepping stones for resilience and success. Embracing a beginner's mindset, much like that of a baby, is helpful here. We'll explore this concept in the next section. Chapter 3, What Babies Can Teach Us About Embracing a Growth Mindset Babies are the ultimate learners. They explore, stumble, and get back up without a second thought, unfazed by the fear of embarrassment or failure. As we grow, this innate fearlessness often gives way to self-doubt, especially when facing new challenges. Adults might say, I'm too far gone to change, or cling to if it ain't broke, don't fix it. This resistance to new experiences can lead to stagnation and complacency. This is where psychologist Carol Dweck's theory on growth mindsets comes in. A growth mindset is the belief that abilities and intelligence can be developed through dedication and hard work. It means fostering a love of learning and resilience, essential for great accomplishments. On the other hand, a fixed mindset traps you in a static state, leaving no room for growth or improvement. Embracing a growth mindset involves viewing challenges as opportunities to improve rather than as insurmountable obstacles. Don't define yourself by your failures or let fear of embarrassment stop you from trying new things. Just as a baby learns to walk by falling repeatedly, adults can learn from every misstep and blunder. So how can you start thinking like a baby? Start retraining your brain to celebrate the process over the outcome. This means shifting from I'm not athletic to I'm improving my athletic skills, or from I can't start a business to I'm learning how to run a business. The beauty of a growth mindset lies in its simplicity and the powerful transformation it can foster. Ultimately, seeing every attempt as a step toward growth, regardless of the immediate outcome, prepares you for a life of continuous learning and recovery from setbacks. Moving forward fearlessly, without concern for failure or embarrassment, can open up a world of possibilities and lead to a more fulfilled and adventurous life. This sets the stage for the next section, where we'll explore how reigniting curiosity can further help you embrace setbacks. Chapter 4 Reigniting Deep Curiosity for a More Fulfilling Life Think back to the hobbies you loved as a child. These activities, fueled by curiosity and excitement, can transform setbacks into starting points for growth. By reviving the curiosities of youth, those passions and dreams once tucked away as life's responsibilities took precedence, you unlock a powerful avenue for exploration and self-discovery. Everyday curiosity, like reading articles or engaging in thought-provoking conversations, shapes your worldview. But profound curiosity, with a capital C, dives deeper, encouraging you to explore long-suppressed dreams or hobbies sidelined by life's demands. This deep curiosity prompts you to question whether your current pursuits truly serve your best interests and deepest desires. It's about daring to ask yourself what you would do if fear and financial constraints didn't limit you and taking steps to integrate these passions into your life. Scientific studies show that pursuing curiosity enhances cognitive health and longevity. Engaging in activities that challenge your brain or introducing small novelties into your routine can significantly improve your well-being. 
Fostering a curious mindset at work also leads to greater innovation and job satisfaction. How do you start? Reflect on what activities made you feel most alive as a child or what dreams you've pushed aside. Use these reflections to create a daily routine that includes elements of these passions, even in small doses. Whether it's returning to an old hobby, learning a new skill, or simply allowing yourself to daydream, acts of curiosity can bring joy and a renewed sense of purpose. Reigniting your curiosity is about bringing activities into your schedule which let you reconnect with your passions and transform how you live and work to lead a more fulfilling life. Over time you might start discovering your superpowers, these natural talents and passions that can help you overcome setbacks. We'll have a look at this next. Chapter 5, Unlocking Your Superpowers for Success and Fulfillment Harnessing your superpowers involves tapping into your natural talents and passions to create a fulfilling and successful life. These superpowers are a unique blend of what you're naturally good at and what you deeply enjoy. Utilizing these inherent strengths can help you reinvent and redirect your life at pivotal moments. Take the example of the fashion designer Norma Kamali. Born into a creative environment and initially disinterested in conventional fashion, Kamali's superpower was her visionary approach to style, predicting and setting cultural trends long before they hit the mainstream. When her professional and personal life faced setbacks due to business challenges and a crumbling marriage, she used these as catalysts for innovation. She reinvented her career path, introducing bold fashion ideas like the sleeping bag coat and becoming a trailblazer in the industry. To discover your superpowers, reflect on the skills others have consistently praised and identify activities that ignite your passion. This combination of acknowledged talent and intrinsic motivation is the foundation of your superpowers. It's like an equation, talent combined with effort equals skill, and when effort is applied continually, it leads to significant achievements. Engage with those around you to gain insights into how they perceive your strengths. This external feedback can often highlight abilities you may underestimate or not recognize as exceptional. Embracing and nurturing your superpowers can transform challenges into opportunities, allowing you to thrive and innovate in your pursuits. Like Kamali, who turned personal and professional setbacks into groundbreaking fashion successes, you too can use your unique abilities to excel in life. This approach will propel your personal and professional growth and also ensure that you are consistently aligned with your passions and capabilities. In the next section, we'll look at strategic decision-making and how to emerge stronger from setbacks. Chapter 6, Emerging from Setbacks and Moving into Action Facing major life changes often begins with feeling overwhelmed. The secret to moving forward isn't in big leaps but in laying down small, manageable steps. This method allows for clear thinking and strategic planning even when the path seems challenging. Start by envisioning where you want to be in the future. Consider what you wish to have, the activities you want to engage in, and who you aim to become. This have, do, be framework helps set goals and guides your decision-making process. Don't think of it as setting your life in stone, but rather adapting as you grow and circumstances change. For example, if you dream of starting your own business, break down this goal into smaller steps. Identify the resources you'll need from day one, outline the skills you might need to develop, and seek advice from those who've walked this path before you. This approach makes the task less daunting while allowing for flexibility and adjustments along the way. Implementing triggers or checkpoints can help keep you on track without becoming reactive. These mini-assessments allow you to adjust your course as needed, ensuring your actions align with your ultimate objectives. Amanda Getz's recovery from a setback demonstrates the power of this strategic approach. Facing a failing marriage and career dissatisfaction, she sought therapy to understand her emotions better. During this time, she discovered the therapeutic benefits of CBD for anxiety relief. She researched the industry, learned about CBD extraction, networked with experts, and developed a business plan to start a CBD company focusing on wellness products. By taking incremental steps, 
gets transitioned from a high-stress life to entrepreneurship. Small steps and flexibility can turn personal and professional setbacks into growth opportunities. Whether you're going through personal setbacks or professional transitions, change involves setting clear intentions, making thoughtful plans, and allowing yourself the flexibility to adapt and thrive. Remember, the smallest steps can lead to the most significant transformations. In the final section, we'll explore how to light the way forward and maintain this momentum. Chapter 7, Finding Direction Through Setbacks with Your North Star Managing life's myriad tasks, from the mundane to the monumental, is easier when you align yourself with a guiding principle or mission, let's call it your North Star. This central idea helps in making decisions that serve immediate needs and contribute to long-term goals, enhancing overall life satisfaction. When actions are connected to a broader purpose, they gain meaning and direction, transforming routine chores into steps toward fulfilling a grander vision. To harness this concept effectively, articulate your mission in a personal mission statement. Identify your core values, the benefits, both emotional and functional, that you offer, your key attributes, and your goals. Defining these goals clearly can significantly influence your decisions and interactions. For instance, recognizing your role in a group, whether you're the planner or the nurturer, can clarify what you bring to the table and how it aligns with your broader objectives. A personal mission statement should bring you personal clarity while working as a tool to set boundaries and prioritize activities, ensuring that each action contributes to your overarching aim. Revisiting and revising your mission statement as you evolve is a good idea, as flexibility and adaptability are key to maintaining relevance and effectiveness. A poignant example of mission-driven leadership is Kate Luzio, who transitioned from a successful banking career to launch Luminary, a platform designed to elevate women in their professional journeys. Her purpose was clear, to support women's career transitions. This clarity enabled her to deal with the uncertainties of a global pandemic, shifting operations online and broadening the scope to meet emergent needs without losing sight of her mission. Her commitment ensured Luminary provided ongoing support through workshops, events, and community engagement even during challenging times. Identifying and embracing your North Star is about achieving success by aligning with your personal values and aspirations. This empowers you to light the way forward not just for yourself, but for others as well. By following the stages of the setback cycle, establishing the setback, embracing the challenges, exploring new possibilities, and emerging stronger, you can move forward with clarity and inspiration. Final Summary The main takeaway of this summary to the setback cycle by Amy Schunthal is that setbacks, while challenging, are powerful opportunities for growth. By recognizing and accepting setbacks, embracing the emotions they bring, exploring new possibilities, and taking actionable steps, you can transform adversity into a pathway to success. With these insights, you're now equipped to turn life's inevitable challenges into stepping stones for a more resilient and fulfilling life. So get out there and embrace each setback as a chance to evolve, grow, and thrive. Thanks for listening. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe to the Literary Digest for more videos like this one. And don't forget to leave a comment below and let us know what you found most helpful. Until next time, keep striving for success.